Have a positive attitude. There's a difference between sounding positive and sounding... Welcome to a true tale from the historic Cambridge Hotel, where Chef Gordon Ramsay faces one of his most challenging and heartwarming encounters. From eerie ghost tales to a struggling hotel on the brink of collapse, this story has it all. Stay till the end to know more. Nestled in a sleepy town surrounded by lush forests, the Cambridge Hotel stood as a beacon of history. This wasn't just any hotel. It had witnessed generations come and go, its walls echoing stories from the past. The town, with its 2,000 residents, exuded a charm that only small towns do, and the hotel, with its classic facade, was a perfect match. Enter John Imhoff, a man with a past as diverse as the hotel itself. Swapping his military uniform and lawyer suit for the role of a hotelier, John took over the reins of the Cambridge Hotel in 2007. His journey was one of ambition and dreams, but the path was rocky. With no prior experience in running a hotel, John was stepping into unfamiliar territory. When John Imhoff took charge of the Cambridge Hotel, his approach to management was, well, pretty strict. He had a certain way he wanted things done, and it didn't really mesh well with how a hotel needs to run. The staff felt under pressure, the customers weren't happy, and the hotel, instead of making money, was watching it disappear. The numbers paint a grim picture. They were in the hole for a hopping $750,000. That's a lot of zeros for any business, and for a small hotel in a tiny town, it was a mountain of debt. Now let's talk about Tina Imhoff, John's wife. Tina had been right there alongside John, supporting the dream. But as the financial troubles deepened, her hopes started to fade. Eventually, Tina reached her limit. She decided it was time to stop pouring money into the hotel. Here's a twist. The Cambridge Hotel had a ghost story. Rumor had it that a young ghost named Alice haunted the place. Now, whether this was true or just a clever trick to attract guests, we can't be sure. Instead of lining up to experience this haunted charm, guests were actually put off. Then in walks Gordon Ramsay, known for turning kitchen nightmares into dreams. The decor with its over-the-top floral patterns seemed to scream for a makeover. And those creaky stairs? Not exactly the welcome tune you'd expect in a hotel. Ramsay, with his keen eye for detail, quickly sensed the tension among the staff. The kitchen at the Cambridge Hotel was a whole other story. The menu was a mishmash of dishes that just didn't hit the mark. Ramsay's face said it all when he tried the food. Disappointment. And it wasn't just about the taste. The food preparation process was a problem too. Imagine being a chef and your creativity is shackled by tight budgets and restrictions. That was the reality for the kitchen staff. They were stuck in a routine of microwaved, uninspired meals, all thanks to Imhoff's tight grip on the operations. Not exactly the recipe for culinary success, right? Now let's talk about Donald Telford, better known as Scooter. This young guy, only 19, was working in the kitchen, but he wasn't just any ordinary staff member. Scooter had a real passion for cooking, something that hadn't gone unnoticed. Despite facing serious health challenges, including heart and back surgeries, he was there, standing in the kitchen, showing what real dedication looks like. When Ramsay got talking with Scooter, it was clear he saw something special in him. Ramsay was genuinely moved by Scooter's determination and dream of becoming a pastry chef. Gordon Ramsay, in a moment of pure kindness, turns to Scooter and offers to fund his culinary education. This wasn't just a small gesture. It was a life changer. Scooter, who had been through so much, just couldn't hold back the tears. It was a mix of joy, gratitude, and disbelief. Here was a young guy facing his own battles, and suddenly he's given a chance to chase his dream, all thanks to Ramsay. This was more than just a financial boost. It was a vote of confidence, a belief in his talent and determination. It was a moment that neither Scooter nor anyone who witnessed it would soon forget. Despite the efforts and Ramsay's intervention, the Cambridge Hotel story didn't have a fairy tale ending. The hotel eventually closed its doors, and the building, steeped in history and tales, found a new life as an assisted living facility. For Scooter, things took a turn for the better. After graduating from culinary school, thanks to Ramsay's support, he started cooking up a storm in local restaurants. 
Today, he's working at the Healthy Living Market and Cafe, cooking and living his passion every day. He's a testament to where determination and a little help can take you. That's all for today's video. If you like this video, make sure you subscribe to our channel. See you in the next one.